Good morning from Fanran, from our uh, little apartment. We already moved here for two months. Now we go to explore some uh, places around Fanrang. Some beaches, some waterfalls, go on scooter rides, go kite surfing. You guys ready? So let's go! Let's go! Ah! Goodbye, Simas. Bye. Goodbye, goodbye. has never driven a motorbike, a scooter, so she's uh, not very confident. We didn't have many non-windy days, so every time we couldn't kite, we'd go someplace around. We are going to the waterfalls today. Many kite surfers from the spots around hopped on their scooters and went to see nearby waterfalls together. An awesome part of being in the kite community is the will to explore places together. It's only half an hour drive from our kite spot and the landscape here becomes simply breathtaking. We came for... We came for... Went to waterfalls. What kind of waterfalls? Do you know the I name? I don't know. I'm first time here. So it looks like again we are coming to a waterfall and there's almost no water because <laughs> it's dry season. Now it's a little stream of water over here. Uh, on the rainy season there's way more water. Usually I travel alone or with uh, one or two friends. But now we are like 10 scooters. It's like uh, around 12 people. Together we came from a uh, kite surfing camp and then we together searching for adventures. That's nice. That's not uh, common for me and I'm really enjoying that. So these guys are gonna jump over here. I'm probably not jumping. I'm uh, not a big fan of uh, jumps to the water. I'll be watching. That was it. Awesome, bro. You go for it? Uh, maybe, actually, it doesn't look that high. We had really lovely time in the waterfalls and the day was still long. So we could hop back on our scooters and head to the next place, the Wild Beach. This beach is actually already noted by the real estate investors and soon there's gonna be some resort. But for now we could enjoy beautiful landscapes, mountains, sea and sand. And he pretends to be a turtle. Uh, now he's open, doing a spready to the world. But opener to the ocean. Riding a scooter in these landscapes is meditating. You just take your time, don't go fast, look around and enjoy the ride. After many curvy turns, we would reach our temporary hometown of Fanrang, which also has a beautiful and still not very busy beach. The next day, next adventure, we are uh, going to these guys somewhere else today. I don't know, maybe uh, to some temples, maybe to some whatever. Okay, there's some fight going on. Where are we going? To a G-spot. Finally, we found it. Successfully found the G-spot. <laughs> Why are you happy, two girls? Because of the G-spot! We were yeah. waiting for you guys so long until you get it, finally! difficult situation. We came to a place where uh, uh, to a temple and we don't really know uh, the name of it. At least I don't know. Do you know? No. Nobody knows. And it's quite typical as well that we're in a hurry. Everybody went and you stay looking at things. Things, things, things. Bye, bye, bye. 
So it's not only a temple, it's a museum actually. A museum of uh, photographs, history, history of Vietnam. Uh, So in the end, uh, used a bot, a thing, nice thing with turtles, and now she's gonna wear it on her biceps. What did you find out, Lass? Lass? What did you find out? Oh, I found out. Uh, the temple. <laughs> the temple is really nice. How, how is it called? In. In. Yeah. That day was so hot outside that moving around more was no go option. So after spending time in the temple, like most of non windy days, we would just go somewhere colder and rest or work online. Our kite spot was around 20 minutes drive from home and most of the interesting places to visit were even further. But that 20 minute drive to the spot would take us past two very interesting places. First being Phan Rang Fishing Bay, other Soul Flats. We found this spot while going around with scooters and searching for places where else to kite. But this beach is not suitable for water activities. Not only because it's very rocky, but also because it's protected area where turtles lay eggs. These kind of beaches should be left to the nature without human interaction, being as beautiful as they are today. We come, we see, we take pictures and leave nothing behind. I'm not sure what is happening with me. You know, I see the stairs and I'm, uh, I'm becoming lazy. I'm like, oh, I don't want to go on these steps. You know, just a few years ago, I could run on those. No, maybe a few years ago I couldn't run at all. Okay, it's not high, but it's not easy to climb as well. Uh, especially for us old people. I'm not old, he's old, I'm uh, just accompanying same, him. Same, same old as me. I'm not old, just a little bit. <laughs> no, for kite surfers and surfers might not be difficult unless you are 30 plus then it's not very easy. We are in yet another temple and this one we are every day passing by while going from a kite spot and we said we're gonna visit, 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 visit. We've been here for almost a month and we never did so today is the day to go and check it out. There probably haven't been even one trip where I wouldn't pet as many dogs as I can. Me and the Yuste just love dogs. Everybody's uh, making photos from their own perspectives. Go, Yuste! A window. Every time there's a, an opportunity, girls take pictures of each other. It's nice. Everybody wants to make a photo of these stairs, but somebody wants to go on the stairs maybe. <laughs> everybody's in everybody's ways. Okay, you say it doesn't care. So, 
I'm glad we didn't skip this place before we finished our visit in Van Rang. Not only it's clean and beautiful, location is amazing and the views are stunning, but this place has relaxing atmosphere. You can hear sounds of wind chimes all over the temple and it's really beautiful. What I actually loved the most about this temple was these uh, chimes, uh, I don't know how it's called the sound, so it's like a uh, uh, metal tubes inside this uh, building and uh, when the wind blows they make sound, they make music, it's natural music and I absolutely love it. I have to the very top of the mountain, of the hill. It's a bit sketchy, whoa! I did touch the cactus. <laughs> Alex is, uh, is a stuntman, he's uh, always climbing the steepest rocks. <laughs> what a man, what a man. Rock climbing experience with instructor Alexandra Skochakovas. Akocha. And the rest of the days were windy. We would wake up in the morning, work a bit online, and then spend the rest of the day in a kite spot. About the spot itself, I already spoke in my previous vlog. And the next time I'll talk about how Vietnamese celebrate New Year's.